Okay, so the next three slides have to do with ligaments. Uh, well, two of them are you have hip ligaments and you have knee ligaments that you need to know. And then we have something that, that everyone hears about. Everyone has heard about the rotator cuff. What in the heck is a rotator cuff? Well, I'm glad you asked. Um, it actually is made up of four muscles, and it's, it's going around that head of the humerus. So it's the shoulder's connection to the humerus around the head. And you, you need to think of an, uh, an acronym called SITS, S-I-T-S. It's the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, that's on the back of the scapula, and then subscapularis on the front side, the anterior side of the scapula, and it's these muscles, four sets of muscles that wrap around, cradle even, the head of the humerus. And when you tear one of those muscles, that's where you have torn a rotator cuff. Now, so what is it again? Listen carefully supraspinatus, above the spine on the back of the scapula. Below the spine, above the next muscle we'll talk about, is the infraspinatus. And then just beneath that is the teres minor. And on the other side of the scapula, we have the subscapularis. That is the rotator cuff. Now you know. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the ligaments of the knee. We've already talked, well, maybe I'll talk just a little bit about the knee. Why not? What is that? So you know these. <laughs> you have these, so you should know these. So we have the meniscus. So what do you think it does? It acts like a shock absorber, right? You got the femur punching down on top of the punching down on top of the tibia, right? And so you got that the meniscus, the lateral and medial meniscus, and they're like little sh shock absorbers. Then you have on the medial side the tibial collateral ligament, and on the lateral side the fibular. Um, collateral ligament, and they, of course, keep your leg lined up. Um, and then we have those ligaments underneath between the femur and the tibia. And for the lab exam, I, I showed, uh, you know, the uh, I flexed knee, right? And the one in front is the anterior cruciate. Think of a cross. The one in the front is the anterior cruciate, and what does it do? It prevents hyperextension of your knee. Now, you always hear people tearing that, right? You know why? You know what they do to tear it? Hyperextend the knee. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you kick your foot too far forwards, and it's not strong enough, the ACL isn't strong enough to keep it uh, from going too far, it'll be broken, it'll pop, and that's, that's why people injure it all the time. Now, what about that one behind? We'd said the anterior cruciate prevents hyperextension of your leg. What about the posterior cruciate? Well, it ends up, you've got your femur here on the tibia here, and it wants to slide off the front, right? It tries to slide off the front, and the ligament that keeps it from doing that is the PCL, so the posterior cruciate ligament. 